Hundreds of Patterns, Part 7. Oh my goodness, kindergarten, we are on 70 being the ruler of the sevens. So they have to go down here. And then, of course, we only have to do 80, 90, and this number. So let's try it out. We know how to do this, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 is the ruler of the sevens. Oh, look, there they are. Here they all are waiting. But first we're going to get our teams going. All the teams at the top here, we're going to send their numbers down. Here we go. The ones. So that's going to become 71. This two is going to be 72. This three is going to be 73, 74, 75, the 6 will be 76, this will be your 77. Ooh, what do we know about when it's a 77? Remember the 66 and the 55 and the 44? Those were special places in the pattern. What do we know about 77? Yeah, it's where they both cross over. It's where the row crosses over with the column. Yeah, we say that these are the rows, the ones that go this way are the rows, and the ones that stand down like this are the columns. And where the row crosses the column, then you get two numbers the same, like 77, 55, 66. Yeah. Okay. Ready? 78. 79. Oh, I don't have a 9 there. Let's borrow this guy. 79. Oh! 80. Okay, so come on, ruler of the sevens. Send out your sevens. So we can see these numbers properly. Ready? Told you that was going to be 71. 71. You knew that, didn't you? 72. 73. 74. 75. 76. 78. 77, sorry. 78 and 79 and what comes after 7? 80 because 8 comes after 7 so we call it 80. Let's see if that's a pattern for all of them. Hmm, what number comes after 1? 2! 20. What number comes after 2? 3! 30s. What number comes after three? Four. After you've said all the thirties, then you say forty. After you've said all the forties, what number comes after four? Five. So that's where you say all the fifties, because five is kind of like five T fifty, right? Okay, and then after you've said all the fives, like 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know what comes after 59. Then you think, what comes after five? Must be six, right? And then when you've done all the 60s, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, what comes after six, seven? The next one must be 70. That might be helpful when you're counting to 100. Wow, we have almost filled in a whole hundred square. This is getting pretty exciting. You know that the next thing you're going to be asked to do 
is get hold of your hundreds charts and the last one we did was the 60s and the number six is like that and so on this page you're going to do what comes after six seven color in all the sevens the end